like screwed up. Apply. All right. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, I go ahead and move this around. do is we're gonna delete that top and we're also going to delete right underneath that so let's go ahead and grab that ah it's a little big I think right right there is a little a little too big so let's go ahead and connect this all up Do need to add that edge though. Uh, and all we're gonna do after we add the edge there is we're gonna bridge it. So it's gonna be uh, actually pretty pretty quick here. So connect, bring that over. Looking at my X down here at the bottom, try to get it to as close to one as possible. We can also loop this and do the same here. And I think I'm over 10 minutes, so I might have to split this up into two. And there we go. And we're just going to bridge these two right here and there. So just bridge. Okay. And we'll move this over. And we'll move this over because we're from here. And I'm just going to move a little bit more. Okay, so that's it for uh, this part of the tutorial. Next part, we'll go ahead and fix up the rest of it, and then we'll just add a little bit more details. All right, I'll see you guys in the next videos. All right, welcome back to another uh, Colt 45 tutorial. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish up the rest of the handle, and then add some more details if we have time. Um, oh yeah, really quick, something I did, I forgot I wasn't rolling my uh, screen recorder so I just added this right here uh, basically all I did was extrude and then uh, scale or move vertices wherever I needed to and made it connect right through here and then went ahead and created that as you can see because right here it goes ahead and it opens up after that okay so next thing we're gonna do is we guess we can work on the uh, uh, what do we want to work on? Yeah, we'll work on the trigger. So we'll go ahead and hide selected. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come into lines, take off start new shape, and we're going to go ahead and uh, draw in the trigger. So uh, Okay, select yes, and now we're just going to draw in little oval thing here. Now you can use an ellipse, the uh, only problem with it is it doesn't give you uh, ver vertices or anything to edit so you have to keep it wherever it is. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and edit the inside first. Okay, it's really pretty easy to do. We're just gonna pull some things back and out. Alright, pull this straight up. Pull that up. That's fine this pull closer and one last thing pull that there all right all we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of this right click and then smooth okay so that's how it should look um, it doesn't look right if it's smooth on these so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the smooth here so so all I did was corner that and then this is smooth here so Go ahead and move that up. That's fine where it is. Now we gotta move this straight. And there we go. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click extrude, which is just a modifier here. And it'll give you, in this case, we're just gonna do seven. And it gives you a nice looking trigger here. Alright, as you can see, there's the trigger. And now when we unhide everything, you'll notice that the uh, trigger kind of fits in there. 
Now we'll go ahead and move around some things here for it. Um, I'll show you what we're going to do with it as soon as I bring this back to wherever it needs to be. Probably about there is good. Uh, I'll make sure it's inside here at least. Okay. We'll extrude or scale wherever needed. For now, it's fine. Okay. Uh, next thing we're going to do is just take that off. Come to handle, and we're going to move around the handle a little bit. This is just to get a good looking uh, area around it. All right, now I'm getting kind of tired of that. So let's go ahead and loop this and we're gonna chamfer it. <coughs> so we'll loop that and we'll select here, we'll loop this. Now if it goes up like that, just hold Alt and check all these off. Uh, that'll just get rid of anything that we don't need or don't want. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and chamfer. Something like that you should have. Alright, and we're gonna move this here. Slide it back, slide it up. Okay. That looks a little odd, doesn't it? Uh, let's see, we'll take off F4 so you can see what it looks like inside there. Yeah, it looks really odd. So we'll just take off the chamfer, and all we need to do is chamfer. The trigger, so let's go ahead and deselect all these. The trigger looked fine, everything else just looked pretty bad. So, there, okay. Uh, Alright, I guess that's gonna be okay for now. Um, let's go ahead and select this, we'll move this down, and we'll move all of this down here. Just deselect that and that all that down there and we'll go ahead and move it closer we'll make everything just kind of follow suit um, and it's about as good as we can get it get off that four and that's uh, that looks all right let's go ahead and add a Material to it. We'll just keep adding the gray material so that way we can see what's wrong with it because uh, you'll notice anything that's uh, off. Alright, that looks good for right now though. Um, what I'll do is I'll just hold shift and bring this over so that way we got the rest of the trigger finished with the rest of the handle. So just T and symmetry. Z modifier, let's see. Why? I think Y would probably be our best bet. Um, but here it's a little bit of, a little bit off. So let's go ahead and pull this apart. There. Okay. Okay, we're gonna try to keep moving this. Looks good about the trigger. So, okay. Uh, I hate moving around mirrors. <laughs> okay. So, just want to get the trigger at least out like that. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's big enough up here, though, so let's check it out. Oh, yeah, it is. Alright. So, basically, that's, uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Um, next one we'll go ahead and finish up everything else maybe uh, move this a little bit though hang on okay. so next tutorial we'll go ahead and finish up everything else that needs to be finished and uh, that'll be it alright I'll see you guys there